A.H.H. I remember making these your resistance to. We have gotten far in the three years that have passed since. I remember finding it hard to get a slip. It's only reasonable, of course. The tanks are not supposed to get killed, they are supposed to play the objectives. But in recent patch, Blizzard brought back DPS hot. Again, Diva is still just an oversized flying tracer. I have not really kept up to date with how the game balance has progressed since I left the game in 2018. Maybe Blizzard had something nice in store for me for when I came back. That's higher than I remember. That's new. That's still a nice primary weapon. That's lower than I remember. Than just to have heard it again. Nice. I was actually gonna call it there. But come on, it's been three years, I can't make this thing only four minutes. That's why, as literally the only Orisa main in existence, I'll share some tips and tricks from what I've picked up, starting with her primary weapon, the Fusion Driver. The Fusion Driver can in many ways be considered a mini bastion. It doesn't get less accurate while moving or firing, your mobility is reduced while using it. And most importantly it sends Genji mains back to Stone Age IQ upon seeing you fire it. In all seriousness, it does set itself apart from Bastion's Gun. Where Bastion's Gun is hit, the Fusion Driver fires projectiles that need a moment to reach your target. However, its impressive accuracy actually does make it bad for long-range covering fire. 
this 150 round capacity also makes it great for pressing shield damage, with one clip being just enough to break a right barrier, so the smaller targets will dance around your shots with relative ease. The Fusion Driver also deals double damage on headshots, but I don't need to explain to you that grass grows, right? Hope may be a funny ability, but it is terrible at environmental kills. You can do it, it's just not the proper way to use it. Instead, use hope to constantly annoy the enemy team. Pull them back when they flee around a corner, pull them off rooftops when they have the high ground, and bundle them together like a pretty bush of flowers when they try to avoid your team's ultimate. Your barrier may be relatively frail, but it's incredibly good regardless. You can throw it out in front of you while shooting or even using your ult, and it goes decently far as well. And even if you misplace it you get a new one every 8 seconds. It lasts for 20 seconds as well, so don't feel in any rush to replace good ones. Fortify is easily my favorite ability in the game. With one press of the button and you can completely ignore 50% of incoming damage, grind charges, may freezing, advice for your awful sleep schedule, road hard hooks, and more. Just remember that a knockback immunity quickly becomes a problem if that road hook has hit the ult. Make sure to only use it right before when you think you'll need to tank a lot of damage or a stunning ability. You have 450 health, you will be fine waiting a few more seconds to use it. For some, or at least for me, it can be hard to find a good moment to use your ult, supercharger. What helps in that struggle is to find a good mindset for positioning them. Put it behind something, some place where you can see more teammates than enemies. To deploy a supercharger, you must think like one. Or you just put a shield in front of it while that also works.